Hey guys, it's time to open your eyes. Sodo! Alright, what is up, Soto Population? As always, I'm your host of Frozen Stratos, and today we've got our that's not right. We've got our candy toy blog back again. Uh, and this week is no different from the last few because we have so much stuff to cover. Thankfully, there's not some Sentai component to this, so we can just dive right in to the rider portion. And we are starting off with some Geats updates. Kinda. Uh, so, if you've been, you know, watching this space or taking a look at Soto for any length of time, you'll know that there is a, a feature uh, built into all of the most recent riders, and that is... DECA driver compatibility. That's right. Uh, Geats is DECA driver compatible. Now, what does that mean? So, uh, this peg uh, that they're using for the belt is the same exact peg size uh, that was used all the way in 2007 for Common Rider Decade's Soto Ride Plus figure. So, years ago, uh, they made this figure and they thought, hey, be really cool if you could put the belt into different riders and make it look like he is all the other riders and they've been keeping up with this since zero one so here he is zero one saber revice and now gates uh we are continuing this trend and i am always just so delighted to see it we always ask oh yeah but is it going to be deck and driver compatible in this instance yes it absolutely is so um yeah, I've been asking this for a while. When are they going to say it? Because, you know, it's a peg. They can make this no problem. So I was wondering when this would happen, and it turned out it was this weekend. So I am very happy. Uh, I don't see any sort of reason for them to change this uh, at any point. So I am just glad to see it uh, hanging around. Anyway, that is it for, I guess, an overall overview of Gate stuff. Let's take a look at some specific figures. This next one is coming in ID3 instead of, you know, the upcoming ID1 or ID2. Um, and that would be... Depan or Depan or Dep You know, I haven't seen him in action yet, so I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's Depan a man. He looks very cool. Um, so take a look. Uh, the head fully painted in white so then the rest of the details those all have to come in uh with stickers but those don't look too bad hopefully um i can't imagine well yeah maybe the stickers might be a little bit complicated but at least it's it's mostly flat surfaces and then also you have the eye stickers that they love to do uh it seems that the strip down the center with the uh the jewel that's done in sticker as well um also here's his belt it comes with that uh id core um you know given what had happened either last week or the week before where we got a cracked version of the core id sticker it would have been neat to see a cracked version of every rider's core ID sticker, whether or not they, that happened to them or not, just, you know, for the possibility. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, there is also another component to this figure that is not present in any of the other ones. And that is, oh no, what's happening? Oh, he's eating people. Turns out, yes, they have included his, uh, for lack of a better term, zombie version. Um, basically, his eyes get all, like, all these vines in them and stuff, uh, and you can recreate this scene from the episode. Haven't watched it yet, but, uh, I assume it's very accurate. Uh, it looks very nice. The, um, I can't tell if the sticker is specifically colored this way or if, if the, the reflective nature of the sticker just has those colors to it. I'm not 100% sure. Um... Actually, it seems it seems like, yeah, that is a colored sticker. But yeah, anyway, looks very, very good to my eyes um, and in his eyes. Um, so yeah, cool stuff all around. Anyways, that's not all they revealed because, hey, check it out. It's Nago. Um, so yeah, uh, this figure is sporting uh, not just, you know, the base form, but she also has the new armor, or at least... The armor that was teased a little earlier for the hammer uh, to coincide with the hammer that's coming out in ID1. 
um she looks really good and this basically confirms that hey she is going to be compatible with basically every single release of the the gimmick items and stuff like you can indeed turn her into nago what is this hammer boost or something i don't know what the actual hammer thing's name is i hope it's just hammer otherwise otherwise why would you make it any more complicated than that um it looks really good uh, she can work with a play pattern, and that actually means, um, oh, wait, that's not the right picture. That's not it either. Oh, check this out. Dapan also has eye stickers for, uh, ge uh, not Geats. Dapan Magnum. Yep, that's right. Uh, which is, I guess, something they called out to be, like, uh, his most striking form. And they said something about wanting to release a version of this figure as Magnum, just as Depan, Ma Depan Magnum, just on its own for some reason. Like, we can already do it. I don't know why we need an individual release of it. Um, maybe they just want to recreate, like, the main... I guess, forms of certain folks, and this must be, like, one of his main go-to forms, what he's going to be seen with a lot. So maybe that's what they're trying to get at, but you can recreate it anyway. Um, anyway, you can have them both teaming up, and they look very nice. Uh, yeah, good stuff here. Uh, and that leads us all the way back to Nago herself. This is the actual figure. What you saw earlier, that was all in prototype. Um, and you're getting a lot out of this figure. Um, so sadly, <laughs> to, to sort of backtrack on that, you're only getting one version of her mask, but you are getting option stickers to turn her into her base form and to turn her into the form where she has that accessory uh, equipped. That means she has all these extra uh, yellow highlights in her eyes. Uh, something they also wanted to note is that like, hey, there's like, a little bit of black there on the back and like a little bit of yellow where there used to be some uh i guess black uh honeycomb pattern down there they just wanted to point that out because it's something that like you don't really get to see unless you're making the figure um so yeah that's really neat like i said it's a an option sticker set so you're not going to be able to um have two of these unless you buy a second one um here's her belt uh, it has her ID core and also uh, her uh, Nago Bengals. I think that's what the name was. So those are molded in, but uh, boy, that sticker. Um, I'm not great with stickers on circular surfaces, but you know what? I'll, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll even gun to marker it. Who knows? Uh, but this looks fine, serviceable for now. Uh, and she is the same figure as everyone else basically uh usually soto likes to um make a new female figure mold uh but in this case they didn't know like if they're gonna commit to a new mold they want nago to be in her her like main form as they were saying with uh Dupan, uh they were saying like hey magnum that's gonna be like his main big thing possibly so they want to re-up him with that armor I feel like they didn't know what Nago's main armor was going to be, and that's sort of what they said. So they were like, all right, so let's just make her the base form, and then we can make her compatible with everything else. So if that comes down, comes around later on down the line, then hey, we can have her compatible with that. And on top of that, she's just compatible with anything, everything. And that's been a main sticking point for a lot of the figures uh, I've been collecting from Soto recently is that like, yeah, sure, we do get female figures. We don't typically get them in other lines, but they're not compatible with main play pattern. That is not so here. Uh, we do get to, you know, swap and mix and match with her figure, and I'm very happy about that. Um, it just adds one more figure into the ecosystem. It's good stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Like I said, you can swap them all in and out. Um, and also, hey shield we haven't really seen much of that 
So hopefully we'll be getting some of that soon. Anyways, uh, I do believe this is it uh, for Soto ID 2. Nago is coming in Soto ID 2, while um, Dapan is coming in ID 3. So that's n next, next month. So not October, October, November. November, yes. Uh, it's in November where we're getting um, Dapan, but these four are coming out in the at the end of October. Anyway, that's it for these guys, but that's not it for the blog because we have some very special stuff. Do you remember uh, when the blog had talked about Fies? We I don't think we covered it on the channel, but we are covering it right now. So it turns out we're getting a Soto Chronicle Fies set, and we're getting Fies, Kaiza, and Fies in his, um, you know, in the speedy, running, fasty mode. Um, yeah, and these look very good. So to complement these figures, they decided, hey, make his bike it's the out of uh and it looks very very good it turns out um a lot of this is painted uh and where you see like the logos and stuff all that is tampo printed so you won't have to deal with too many stickers there um it looks great like scale wise with fives here he is riding it and obviously you can turn it into the battle mode um so this is a parts former you are gonna have to rearrange it and put different parts in but you at least get a figure um they did say that hey i don't know if you noticed it but like in between these there is an option sticker to have his eyes like lit up uh like just after he's transformed so that's a really cool option um here he is next to Fies. uh they did say this is a little bit big in comparison and they just wanted to make sure that like all the components were able to move properly into their places for this transformation that like they wanted to make sure that was possible so it is maybe a bit bigger scale wise they also like made the head bigger proportional to the body because like that wasn't really working on their end unless it was a swappable part anyways this looks really good we also get to see um the auto with the uh the wheel as a gun um and yeah, you can have Fies hanging around and commanding him or whatever. And there is a flight mode. So it's basically the back tire flipping down and then like a display stand port that you could plug in. That's basically it. But they said, you know, hey, you can do it. Uh, so I appreciate it. Um, but that's not all because it is also an accessory set. Uh, this actually comes with a metallic bladed version of uh Fize's sword so that looks really cool um and they just said hey we wanted to give you options if you wanted these things if you wanted like the the main figure itself does come with a clear translucent blade but this blade it is like a metallic finish and i think it looks pretty good too um though you know i'm a star wars boy I grew up with the toys, and those sabers typically had the clear plastic, and that's what I'm used to. Uh, either way, I'm very excited. Uh, there's some cool stuff here, and also there is going to be a version of the hilt with the uh, mission memory not loaded in. So if you want that option, that is there for you as well. Um, on top of that, we are getting a phone just for him to hold. Uh, if you want to, you know, have him make a call, press in an attack, any of that. Um, there's also a closed version of this phone, uh, if that is an option that you're wanting. On top of that, we have this suitcase. It's the Smart Brain suitcase, and it looks wonderful on the outside and the inside. That's right. Um, now, these are all molded in. They're not like individual pieces you can take out, but they are picked out with uh, a bunch of stickers. I think it looks great, especially for the scale. I don't mind all the sticker detail here. Um, it's it's just such a fun, neat inclusion. He can hold it, which is really great. And on top of that, you can store it on the bike. There's like these individual clips to make this happen. I love this. Um, and on top of that, uh, I forgot the name of this thing. But we are finally getting even more Hyper Battle DVD representation. Josh would be proud. This is the Fies Sounder, I believe. And it's basically just a boom box that if you load a mission memory into, 
<laughs> you can turn it into a cannon. Uh, so this is great. I haven't actually seen... I didn't know about this uh, weapon until this blog, and I am so stoked um, that it exists. I love Hyper Battle stuff. Uh, so yeah, very awesome. Very cool things here. Uh, this set... Uh, is going to retail for 6,300 yen in Japan. Uh, this is a premium Bandai item, so do keep that in mind. Um, you'll probably be able to get this at, like, Tokulectables, uh, because, you know, the pre-orders are out now. And, uh, I think this comes out in January. Yes, this comes out in January, so look forward to that. Uh, but Fize, why should he get all the, the spotlight? Why should he get all the toys? Oh, look at that! It's the Side Basher! Made specifically for Kaiza. Oh, this dirty asshole. Um, that's right, he's getting his, uh, you know, his main bike and sidecar as well. Um, you can have Fize drive it while Kaiza sort of stands off to the side. It'd be interesting to see if somebody could actually sit inside the Side Basher. I know you could, like, stand a character there, obviously. But it'd be nice, because I've got, I've got the SIC one. It's vaguely in this scale. It'd be nice if I could put another character just seated in there. I really hope that that's the case here, but if not, it's not a total loss because there are many other features to this. Like a transforming gimmick, obviously. Uh, this looks very good, um, and it sports a little bit of articulation in the, the hands. I guess you'd call them hands. Um, you can have him riding it. Uh, you can turn the, quote, head, or get, I guess the front of the motorcycle a little bit to make it look like he's moving. I don't know that there's going to be too much articulation out of it, just like a little bit, like just enough to get some personality in there. Um, and on top of that, um, it's not just going to be a vehicle set. That's right. This is an accessory set as well. Uh, we have this new version of the uh, Blay Gun. Uh, so basically, it is the cocking lever deployed version. So it's the back end of it. He like pulls it out slightly. He said, oh yeah, it's a it's a small thing, but you know what? That's what Soto is known for. The really weird, obscure shit. That's where they are. Um, so this is a uh, the cocking lever deployed version. So that's very cool. And you can plug in the blade, uh, which is the metallic version. Um, technically, altogether, this is the blade gun cocking lever deployed and metallic color version because of the blade but you can put this blade uh with the original release uh of the weapon so that you can you know just have the metallic blade in the uncocked version of the gun uh if that is how you choose to display your figure um he also has an individual uh, you know phone that comes with the the closed up version as well and on top of that that's right it's the briefcase. It's so good. Or I guess it's called the gearbox. The Kaiser gearbox. Um, oh, gosh. I love this. I Like, faux weapon storage? Faux gear storage? I love it. Oh, I eat it up. Uh, and he can hold it. Um, so that's very cool. But something that's unique uh, to this figure is that, hey, pew, 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 we've got missiles. That's right. We've got six of them. Uh, and you can plug them into these clear... Uh, I guess poles uh, that plug directly into the exhaust pipes on the hands um, and these are included uh, they are also three millimeter compatible so if you have any other stands you wanted besides these ones that are sticking out of the hands uh, you can apply them to those as well uh, and this side basher comes out in February so um, if you've been sort of paying attention this Fize set, this uh, retail Soto Chronicle Fize set, comes out in December. This Auto Vigen comes out in January. And then we finish off with this Side Basher in February. Uh, oh, also, it's 900 yen, or 9,000 yen, uh, probably on Toku Collectibles right now if you want to look it up. Um, 9,000 yen, it's pretty pricey, uh, but, you know, it's... It's a really big thing with a lot of pretty colors. I I think it's it's justified. We rarely get bikes, and I, I love seeing them. Um, 
So yeah, like I said, they're staggering the releases like one per month uh, because, you know, it's Fize's birthday. Uh, it's, oh, his 20th anniversary. Um, so hopefully we'll be getting a Fize 2 uh, like directly after that. But who knows? I have no idea. Uh, anyways, that is it for this week. Uh, so far, this is the roadmap that we have for Gates. Next week, we are getting more Gates. Uh, we have everything from uh, ID1 already, so they, there's Gates representing that. We have four figures out of ID2. We don't know what else is in there. ID3, we finally have a figure uh, revealed for it, and it's Japan. And then... Um, four, we have those, those chest armors, but we don't know anything else yet. And five, like I've been saying every week... They're hyping up this five, this ID five, and I don't know what that's about. I'm excited, but I don't know what that's about. Let me know what you're thinking in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the episode, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Um, turns out, if you want to know more about um, some any of the Soto stuff that happened or the Shoto stuff that happened, there's already a video hanging out there right that's not right right here guys click this video thank you so much for watching keep it i found oh wait no that's that's not right keep it juicy there it is all right bye